what do I do with this? Oh my god, this is so exciting. <sighs> I didn't do that right. <sighs> Sorry if this video is like depressing. <laughs> I actually like did. So the other day I was browsing LinkedIn. I, I know it's, I hate that place as much as you do. It was for a good reason. But on Nickelodeon Animations page, they just posted a application for art trainee for Avatar Academy. This is like the coolest thing ever. Now, of course, I am a very new artist and there's really no way I am even close to being on par with all the other artists that are going to be applying to this. But still, I gotta check this out. I, I feel like I gotta, gotta do this. I've loved Avatar since it came out as a kid. I would constantly watch watch it over and over again. And then I rediscovered it in high school and I was like, this is still the best thing I've ever seen. And since then I've rewatched it so many times, showing it to all my friends. I love it so much. And there's nothing more that I'd want to do than be able to contribute to the world. Now, of course, the problem we have here is I'm a bit of an amateur, I guess. So it's going to be a long shot. This is, this is a bit of a stretch, I think. But I got to do it. I got I, the application's closed on September 21st, just before midnight. So I've got like 10 days to figure this out. It is currently September 10th at 11.20 p.m. We're gonna do this. We're gonna figure this out. Last night, I actually just wanted to see what I was getting myself into here, and I started drawing Zuko. This first drawing wasn't great. This actually discouraged me a lot. And I was just like, oh man, I really can't do this. But I was like, no, I can keep trying. So I drew another picture of Zuko, and this one's way better. I was like, oh, okay, maybe, maybe we got something here. There's one more that I drew last night that actually got me kind of excited. This one looks pretty good, right? Now, I do have a long way to go. I've got to learn how to do different gestures, a rotation for a character, draw some backgrounds, which I've never really done before, and come up with a lot of cool shit, come up with my own character design. This is going to be a 10-day grind to figure this out. Either way, even if I maybe don't <laughs> get accepted to this, I'm going to be way better drawn after these 10 days, I think. This won't be like a full day's worth of work, but I just want to getting a little bit more drawing just to get some practice in. Starting tomorrow, it'll certainly be more intense. Okay, I just finished up drawing Zuko for tonight. The drawing I just did was like fine. Just gotta keep working at it. Again, tomorrow is when things will really kick off. So it is the morning of September 11th, and so now we officially have 10 days to get this done. I think what I want to start with today is the different facial gestures and head positions. I'm going to do a little bit more research, find some reference, prepare myself for tonight, and just make it through a day of work so I can get working on this. Okay, I am back from work. I had some dinner, filled my stummy up. I am ready to get to work. I do think for the rest of the day, I'm going to be copying down from reference and just trying to replicate the art as best I can. Okay, um, this is not going very well. <laughs> I've been drawing this woman for the past hour and a half and for like my own personal sketchbook these might look fine. This looks like absolute dog water. I'm just psyching myself out. I'm now in this mentality where I have to prove myself and I I've treated these past two sketches as like a final product. This is day one. Look at me. I'm in shambles and it's only day one. We're a few drawings in here. I know it's like we got 10 days. We got to do this but I need to take a step back and make sure I get the fundamentals right. Okay, so no longer having a crisis anymore. I drew Iroh slurping some noodles and it went great. I actually was patient. I did multiple stages of guidelines and rough sketches and I just didn't focus on pumping out this final product. Ending off this night on a good note, I think we made a lot of progress tonight on what my process needs to be like and the mentality that I need to have. So yeah, that is day one. Day two, woo! Guys, day two. I'm gonna do more of the same. Just look up reference photos, get the art style down, make sure I can consistently get the right proportions. So I just spent like an hour and a half drawing Sokka and I think it went pretty well. I think there's a few details I do need to work on. Like his eyes should pretty much be looking at you, but like looking a little bit to the side in my version. That's not things you can let slide. It is now 11 p.m. I just finished up my Katara drawing, which actually went pretty well. I think it's my best drawing I've done yet. I spent a lot more time on the rough sketch, the guidelines. Just worth it being patient is what I'm learning. I need to keep my voice down. I just finished my drawing of Toph, which is awesome. I was really happy with how it came together and I, I feel like I'm really starting to get down my technique for this. I came out with three very solid drawings. I'm happy with it, I think. That is the end of day two. I'll see you guys day three. 
<coughs> is day three. I do want to get some more full body instead of just close up like head and shoulders. I'm going to start drawing. I'm going to find some reference. Let's start drawing. Let's start drawing. I just finished my drawing of Aang. As I was doing it, I was like, it's clicking. It's working. This is going great. Till I got to the freaking hands. It was like the one part of my, when I was doing the first pass of just the rough guidelines that I kind of ignored. I need to get into the habit of being more stubborn about my initial guides. I have decided what I'm going to be doing for the rest of the night. It's been great trying to draw these characters and using all this reference, but I also really want to work on my animation. We got 24 screenshots that I just took from a video of the fight and I'm gonna sketch all of them. I think it'll be good. I think it'll be some great practice. Let's get into this. So it's been like an hour. I've drawn three of the frames. Now if we do some quick math here, it's gonna take me eight hours to do this. It is now 12.45. This time I drew five frames, so I guess it was slightly faster, but I don't know. As I was drawing this, I was like, what am I actually accomplishing here? It's not like I'm really learning that much about animation by just drawing these screenshots that I took. I think I'm gonna cut it off here. It's a little late, but I don't feel like I got enough out of this day. I like the picture of Aang I made, so maybe for the rest of the night, I'll practice some backgrounds. We gotta do a little bit more tonight for me to be able to sleep soundly. All right, it's uh, 2.13, it's um, 2.13. I just finished sketching a shot that I really liked. Definitely not like fully accurate. I was just doing to get a feel for it. I watched a few tutorials. I mean, I'm glad I did that. Today just felt like a little bit aimless. Tomorrow I need to go in with way more of a purposeful game plan. Shout out to the Art Cafe podcast. That shit is amazing. Keeps me afloat, keeps me going. All right, that's the end of day three. It's day four, b It's day four. So tonight I think I really want to focus on just action frames. The first thing I'm going to draw is this Katara fighting Paku. That is a plan. I think I'll get a lot out of it. I don't think I'm getting that much more out of just doing these like still portrait photos of the characters. So let's freaking get into it. Let's go, let's get it. I'm feeling way better about this tonight. It is now nine o'clock. I literally just spent like two hours on this. I mean, it, it looks good. I think I like, I got it down pretty, pretty good. For some reason, it just feels like it's been two hours on that. I'm getting so caught up doing these little details, right? I think I'll do one more reference, like from a frame of the show and then try to make my own thing tonight. I spent the past like hour and a half, hour 45 minutes doing some gesture drawings. I was like, I should just get some more of these gestures down. Why is it taking me this long to do this? It's like, I'm really fixated on these details, but I'm also like, it's a gesture drawing, it's okay. It's like, I'm in this weird middle ground and it's not really a good version of either. I'm gonna take a picture of myself doing some sort of stance or something and try to create my own character using avatar art style. Final little stretch of the night here. Let's, let's get it done. I guess that went as expected. Definitely pretty wonky. It's definitely the best character design I've done. It's just like, what do I do with this? Sorry, the audio is really shitty. I forgot to press record on my microphone. This is my next goal. I'm gonna gather a bunch of reference for different head positions and develop my own character. And uh, oh my God, this is so exciting. Listen, to, listen to this shit. Oh my God. Sometimes when I'm drawing this shit, I'm like, this is the fucking coolest shit ever. What the fuck? Okay, I'm gonna just keep listening to this podcast and gather some reference. I knew I said I came in today with a game plan, but I really feel like, <laughs> really feel like this is gonna be a good game plan. That's the end of day four. Yeah, I'm gonna go to bed now. It's day five now. I'm gonna come up with a character and just try to draw their face in a bunch of different poses. Let's freaking get into it. It's going all right. I spent a while trying to figure out his look. It's definitely the best character design I've ever done. However, it's still tough. I'm just gonna keep drawing it, keep looking at reference. I'm very determined to end tonight with something that I am slightly happy with. That's what's up. Other than that, I've been good. <laughs> <sighs> I was practicing a lot, trying to like reference stuff and applying like the little traits I made for my character onto them. And I was essentially just like finding pictures of Sokka and copying it down and just putting in my character's like hair, which is kind of cheating. Like I knew it was this hard, but it's still, I'm getting very flustered. Also, sorry if this video is like depressing. <laughs> I have definitely bit off a lot more than I can chew here. And it's just like constantly like, yeah, I don't know, man, I, I can't do it. <laughs> I'm still gonna reference stuff, but if I can just learn how to 
use the reference and apply it to my own distinct character. If I can get like one in tonight, I'd be happy with that. Okay, guys, this is the first time that I can somewhat confidently say that I did my own character design with just light reference, but like I made this pose. Like I didn't just copy down a face and add the hair. And it doesn't look half bad. I'm sure there's some problems with it, but this is a improvement. Okay, I did one more little pose. It doesn't look great. I think we did make quite a lot of progress today. My brain is pretty fried at this point, so I'm gonna stop with the end of day five that marks halfway through this journey. I can't tell how prepared I am to tackle the second half of this and develop the portfolio. I am happy with the work that I've put in so far. I'll see you guys on the sixth day tomorrow. Okay. It is day six now. I'm gonna keep practicing these expressions. I took this morning to sleep in. I definitely needed a, a little break this morning. I'm feeling energized. I'm feeling ready to get onto the second half. Gonna do more of these expressions, really trying to get this down. I do think I wanna try some other stuff today and not just do these expressions all day. So I'm thinking of trying to work on some animation stuff. That's what's going on today. Day six, so let's start drawing. I just drew for like, an hour, hour and a half-ish, and it's going just okay. I liked like one of them, the first one that I drew. The rest of them are just like weird looking. Maybe I need to do a little research, watch some tutorials, because the current strategy I'm doing right now is not working. Honestly, I had a bit of a breakthrough with these expression drawings. I've like started to get it down. These look pretty good. They're rough, but they're way better than what I've been able to do in the past. And I'm pretty happy about that. That being said, I've only really done the frontal view at this point. I'm still trying to work it out on like more dynamic head turns and stuff. I will say I'm feeling pretty burnt out today. I've been staying up until like 2 a.m. and then getting up at like six. And I'm just feeling pretty burnt out right now. I think I wanna get started with kind of planning the animation stuff. I think I gotta take the rest of the night off. I wanna go into tomorrow being re-energized and ready to take on the last four days. I'm gonna do a little bit more drawing, kind of work out the kinks with the animation stuff that I wanna do and call it a day. So I bet you're wondering why there are two day sixes. Well, I, I was also wondering that. It seems as though our poor sleep deprived Jake has counted both weekend days as day six. I don't know what to tell you. We're gonna have to just go along with it. So just treat this as the real day six. I appreciate your cooperation and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Thank you. Okay, it is a new day. I think today I'm going to continue to work on that animation and these character expressions. So let's get into it. I did a little bit more practice with some expressions and it's going fine. Practice more with that same Tai Chi movement that I'm gonna use for the water bending animation I wanna do. What I'm actually gonna do now is I took a picture of what I sketched. I'm gonna put them on my computer and use my drawing tablet to do the animation in there. <sighs> I got a little bit ahead of myself. This is taking way too much time just to draw a freaking rough gesture. I need more time to myself to get used to the drawing pad. I feel like most of this has just been like, I didn't do that right. <laughs> this is what needs to happen. I'm tired of messing around, trying stuff out, trying to, you know, just being in this state of... Uh... We need to make a list. We need to get that shit done because it's go time now. We have character expressions, character turnaround, some form of animation example that I'll probably show by going through a few frames on paper. I like to kind of have a separate miscellaneous category for story ideas, random other designs or drawings that I have. And as for the backgrounds, I think I'm not gonna try to tackle that right now. Based off of what I have to do and have to figure out, I don't know if I'll get to that. For the rest of the day, I'd love to try to start working on the character turnaround because I haven't really done that much full body stuff yet. Let's get into this. After a lot of gesture drawing, I finally got a full body sketch of my character. While it is completely just front facing, not really any perspective challenges at all, I have created my character. We're making progress. Before the end of the night, I'd like to try to get a view of him slightly to the side. So I drew my character at a slight angle and it went fine. So maybe I just need to do a little more practice drawing other characters at those angles. This has been Day six, we'll get into the last seven, eight, nine, four days. So stay tuned. 
It's day seven. It is day seven out of 10, and I'm looking up fundamentals. Ideally, I would have already had all the fundamentals down before this, or at least hashed them out in the first half of this. But what also comes with being a beginner artist is not knowing exactly how to plan stuff out or what to study or how to study stuff properly. That's why I'm learning fundamentals on day seven. So. <laughs> So after spending like 20-ish minutes going through these tutorials, I was like, okay, let's revisit these basic character drawings. Drawing these bodies were way easier and way less stressful. I'm probably gonna keep practicing from reference and starting to try to apply my own character design onto that reference. I've been drawing these like figure drawings for so long, they look like shit. <laughs> To be honest, I need to work on something else. I can't keep drawing this. I feel like I've just like hit a wall. I think for the rest of the night, I'm just gonna work on some more close up face stuff. Hopefully I can get something that's slightly encouraging out tonight. And yeah, it is 2.20 in the morning. I like actually made a character that looks somewhat like a real character. I started doing some more up close expressions and I really liked the second expression that I made. I added, you know, the neck and I was like, I like that. I added a little shoulders and I was like, oh, what if I, uh, finish the rest of the body. It's definitely janky, but it's certainly the best thing that I've made in terms of a my own body figure drawing. I'm pretty happy with that. I think we'll call it there. This has been the end of day seven. I'm happy with the progress we made today. Day seven is a wrap. <laughs> It is day eight, it's 7.30. I have already been drawing for a little bit, just working on my character a little bit more. We are fully like, this is it. Because it's day eight, we have tonight, tomorrow night, and then night after, I have to submit. So let's get into it. <sighs> I spent like 45 minutes making this. I don't know, it feels like I'm slowing down or something. <laughs> I need to like settle on a look. I think it'll be good to like consistently use similar reference to get down a consistent character. I actually like did it. I made my character in an original pose and I just used a bunch of different references, but I didn't just like copy down an avatar character and copy and paste my face onto it. And it like looks like an actual character. So it's pretty exciting. I feel like I got what I wanted to do tonight. I think I have a better vision for my character and I have a better strategy of of how to reference things. We're on day, oh shit. <laughs> We've got two more nights. It is crunch time now. Two more days, we got this. Well, it's day nine. We got some work to do. I definitely want the character facial expressions and the rotation and include any sort of story stuff that I thought of as well. If I have time, I'll do some more rougher gesture drawings and you know, map out some frames of an animation to display, but kind of doubting that I'll have time for that. One other thing that's really hard is including this video in the application. It's gonna take a while to edit that as well. So that's another pretty big factor. So today, I wanna to work on some good, polished character expressions. Let's get into it. It is now 10 o'clock. I started drawing at seven. I made three expressions. For some reason, the first half of the night always feels so unproductive. I don't have much else to say. I just gotta keep drawing. Just get these expressions down. It is 12, 17 in the morning. I have been drawing my character's facial expressions. I've got seven of them, and I'd say about four of them are usable for this. I am content with what I have right now. I need to spend the rest of this night editing and try to get some drawings done at the end of the day tomorrow. This is the end of day nine. We've got one more night tomorrow. We're finishing this thing up. I'm gonna go try to edit this video. See you tomorrow. It is day 10. They didn't specify which time zone. I'm gonna treat this like they could even be talking about Eastern. I'm gonna try to get this done by 11 p.m. It is 5.19 right now. And I came to a bit of a realization last night. I have to figure out how to actually put this into a portfolio that I can submit. I have to write a cover letter. I have to finish all the editing. And I need to do these character turnarounds that I wanna do. I just don't have time. What are my best chances of legitimately getting noticed here? It's not gonna be my artistic ability. <laughs> Let's be honest. What I think is really important is showing them this video, which can display my work ethic, my ability to learn stuff, display my passion for the world of Avatar, and just submitting this portfolio. I just need to submit something that also includes some story ideas as well. So checklist for tonight, a little under six hours, get all this done. I think we can do it. Day 10, let's get into it. I just set up my portfolio and honestly, it's kind of 
cool to see. It's cool seeing it come together and I have something to show for what I've done. I also wrote out a bunch of story ideas that I've been having and included that in there too. And I, I think it's pretty cool. And I hope that they read it, even if they think my art is bad. I still have a bunch of editing to do and I got to write up a little cover letter, which will take like a half an hour. So I'm going to stop talking to the camera now because I really got to rush and do this. <laughs> Okay, we have reached the end of our journey. Holy shit. <laughs> that was a wild 10 days. I'm almost on editing the video. Got like an hour and a half left, so I, I gotta pick things up. After 10 days of figuring stuff out, failing, getting so frustrated, we came out with something. We came out with this. It's not great. I like it still. I'm glad I have something to show after these 10 days. That is everything. I have nothing else to say. I need to get back to work. <laughs> hey, what's up? It's Jake here with, with, a, with a bonus little bonus outro here. I just thought I needed a little more at the end. And I also wanted to show like every page of my sketchbook that I filled out so you guys can see every little thing that I did. Again, this was like an insane 10, well, I guess it was 11 days of drawing and trying to learn and just like cramming in as much as I can to get this portfolio done. It was definitely the hardest thing I've like, <laughs> like ever worked on before. And now I've spent the past like few days like recovering from that, but it, it definitely was worth it. It felt really cool, you know, like doing that stuff and just like only thinking about drawing just every single day for 10, 11 days. I came out with something that I was, I was pretty happy with and I was more so happy with the work I was able to put in and the amount I was able to learn. And I'm excited to apply what I learned going forward. This video is long enough. I'll I'll leave it there. I hope that you can take something from this. Let's end it. It's time to go. It's time. It's it's time to go. All right. Goodbye. I love you. Oh, whoa. <laughs> that just came out. I mean, if you're not ready yet, it's fine, but I'm just going to go now. I'll leave it there. <laughs> Goodbye.